A lot of the time, you can wind your mum up without even knowing you've done it. <laughs> That's how easy it is to wind a mum up. Like, in our house, using the front door one too many times than is necessary. <laughs> there was some sort of cut-off point. There was a threshold of acceptable door-use policy that she had. <laughs> And at some point in the day, on a Saturday afternoon, you'll have come in and opened it and you just hear her somewhere in the house go, Right, that's it now! Get either in or get out! <laughs> <laughs> what? They're like the only two options I've got with a door. <laughs> <laughs> so you chose out, obviously. But dads, dads were harder. Dads were harder to wind up. Often dads simmer a bit, don't they? They keep things bottled and then bang, <laughs> they proper go for it. My dad was on nights and he'd be fast asleep, so you'd have to be quiet. Even when you were fighting with your brother, you'd be like... Get <laughs> <laughs> angry, but on mute. <laughs> My brother would come in from playing football, hot and sweaty, and he'd run to the fridge and he'd go and get the milk, four pint and start drinking it, and I could see bits of sweat going off his lips onto the milk. I think, that's going on my ready break. <laughs> So what I'd do is I'd wait behind the fridge and I'd jump out and I'd just <laughs> squeeze it in his face dead hard. <laughs> now, I accept that to a group of adults like us, that's only slightly humorous. <laughs> when you're eight, <laughs> that is the funniest thing you will ever see in your life. <laughs> Until it starts coming out of his eyes. <laughs> Try your milk! <laughs> and then he'd do like a cry, like... <laughs> And then I'd hear the worst sound of my childhood, my dad's foot hitting the floor upstairs, like... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I didn't say <laughs> I was eight. Oh, crikey. <laughs> we read a lot of the Beano, yeah. <laughs> my dad would start coming down the stairs, like... <laughs> <laughs> One time. time. He fell asleep halfway, I was like... <laughs> he ended up in casualty, so we don't really talk about that, but... Um, <laughs> most of the time, he'd make it in, he'd go, right, eyes bulging, vein in his neck going, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> I feel Mitchell. And dads know exactly what's going on. Dads can see it, they're like Columbo. They've worked it out. It's like CSI Manchester. He's worked it out. <laughs> but he wants to hear the truth come out of your mouth or a lie, for example. He go, what's going on? And my brother... <laughs> and now he's coming out of my ear. <laughs> I would go, I don't know. I just... Just stood it and it went in his face. I don't know. <laughs> of course, his fingerprints on the milk. I've used it loads of times. <laughs> and he'd look at me because he knows it's alive. My dad would throw this extra one in sometimes. He'd go, right, stick your tongues out. What? Stick your tongues out. Why? Because it's well known a liar's tongue turns bright green straight after a lie. So my brother, not lying, his tongue straight out, mm, nice and pink. Me, you had me lying, thinking I'm not falling for this. I'm going to keep my green tongue in my mouth. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a couple of dads going, I'm having that when I get home, that's going in. <laughs> it was brilliant, it worked a treat, but my dad would look at me and he'd go, right, come with me. And he'd drag us up to the phone box up the road. He'd dial his number, he'd go, hello? Is that Chief Inspector Williams, Greater Manchester Police? <laughs> this time, young man, you'll go to prison. don't care if you're old enough to push milk in your brother's face, <laughs> you're old enough to go to prison. Which is not a phrase I've heard since, but he swore by it. Right? <laughs> and the phone will come to me. Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> you know, you better have me sorry, because next time I will come round with the van and the dogs and take to Strange Ways Prison for 15 years. <laughs> and he'd be broke at the other end of the line. I want me daddy. I'm sorry! Don't send me to prison! I wouldn't last! 